In this problem we have two concentric shafts, shaft B which is hollow and shaft A which is solid. They are both clamped at this end, this wall, and they are rigidly connected at this end. Also at this point, at this end, we are applying the torque T. And the problem is asking to determine what is the angle of rotation of the overall system. Then we have to calculate basically what is the angle of rotation of this structure at this point. Then we can start as usually drawing the free body diagram. So we have cut the structure at this point. Then we have here the torque, the applied torque T. And we have here the internal torques TA and of course TB. Then now from the equilibrium equations, we know that the sum of torques at any point of the structure must be equal to zero. Then from this equation, we have that TA plus TB is equal to T. Then we have two unknowns and one equation, and we need to look for one additional equation. In this case, of course, we are looking for the displacement compatibility equation. So if we look at the geometry of the problem, you can see here that both shafts are connected rigidly at this point, at this end. So then the rotation angle of the structure theta will be equal to the rotation angle of the inner shaft theta a and will be equal to the rotation angle of the outer shaft theta b. So this is the compatibility equation that we were looking for. Theta is equal to theta a is equal to theta b. So we have now one additional equation, but what we are really looking for is for an equation which relates the torques TA and TB. And this is a relationship between angles, so we can use the force displacement relationship in order to find that equation. So from the torsion formula, we have that the rotation angle due to the torque is equal to TL divided by J times G. Then we can start calculating what is the rotation angle of the shaft A. So we can first determine what is the internal torque. So if this is shaft A, we have that the internal torque is equal to TA and it is constant, it's TA. Then the rotation angle of this point with respect to the wall is equal to TA times L divided by G and J. And we have something similar for the shaft B. We have the torsion diagram. So we have that the torque is also constant. And the magnitude is equal to TB. Then the rotation angle, theta B is equal to TB times L divided by J and G B. So now if we use these two relationships and we substitute them into the compatibility equation, we find that then this is the second equation that we were looking for. And if we combine this equation with equation one, so we have that T is equal to TA 
class TB. We have a set of two equations with two unknowns that we can easily solve. So from equation two, we have, for example, that TB is equal to Then if, if we substitute this result into equation one, we have that and if we solve this equation, we find that TA is equal to then we already know the first uh, reaction torque and uh, of course it's very easy to calculate the second one TB but uh, actually we don't need to do it because what the problem is asking is to calculate what is the rotation angle of the whole structure and if you remember the rotation angle theta is equal to theta A is equal to theta B so it's enough to know what is the torque TA to calculate what is this angle because it will be equal to theta B and equal to the total rotation angle of the structure so from here we have that theta A if you remember this is equal to TA times L divided by JGA so this is equal to And now we can rearrange this equation in a more beautiful way. So this is equal to... Then this is the final result. As I said before, this is the angle of rotation of the shaft A, which is equal to the angle of rotation shaft B, which is equal to the total rotation angle of the whole structure.